Watch the new episode of History of Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh, is that the one where they play the Paleo deck? Yeah, we can do that. We can roast MBT for Paleo Frog gameplay. History of Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh, my grass only missed. Well, Z yeah, we can do that. Hold up. Zodiac continued to dominate the format, an ideological shift was occurring within the competitive landscape. Throughout most of history, Yu-Gi-Oh! has had a 60-card upper limit for deck building, thanks in part to a particular incident. However, players were never incentivized- <laughs> The particular incident is where uh, two German dudes showed up to German nationals with a deck containing 2,222 cards. ...to build larger decks because players always valued consistency more than anything. This would all change with the release of a single card, That Grass Looks Greener, quickly turning deck building philosophy on its head, and 60 was quickly becoming the new 40. In this series, both MBT and myself will be traversing the sands of Yu-Gi-Oh!'s history. Each episode will take a deep dive into Yu-Gi-Oh!'s past formats and unlock new strategies as new sets become available. Strap yourselves in because anything is possible Welcome to the history of Yu-Gi-Oh! King Arthur Legends Rise is an all-new uh -oh. turn-based collection no. RPG featuring an immersive story. Boy, am I happy to not see Zodiac Rat Pierce staring me back in the face. It may surprise you to hear that during this unparalleled period of Zodiac dominance, it wasn't the only playable strategy. Behold, Paleozoic Frog. Now, this Hell deck yeah. existed in a number of iterations during this period. Because the Zodiac engine is so low investment, you- This is... Exactly. Yeah, this is, my, this is my deck. You could really jam pretty much anything you wanted into a 60-card monstrosity glued together by the unbelievably powerful card that is That Grass Looks Greener. But many duelists, including the one, the only Joshua Schmidt, elected Hello. to play it pure, and they saw great success with the strategy. 60-card Paleozoic is a deck that unfortunately needs to be seen perform in order to understand what its game plan is. But the short of it is, the Zodiac end board didn't have a lot of negates. It's not like a modern combo deck in that you put up so many points of interaction that an opponent can't possibly play through it. You could very easily just set five trap cards and threaten the entire board state. And boy, did this deck do that. What's important to note with this strategy is that it's not playing that grass looks greener as an instant auto win card. This isn't like Infernoid where you'll This is the main reason why the deck was good by the way. It's because it beat Zodiac and it also beat other 60 card decks because you did not need to resolve grass to have a good deck. Like Infernoids and and Lightsworns and all those other jank 60 card piles that were all not good by the way. Uh they needed to resolve grass to win, whereas this deck didn't, and so you played 60 card uh, mirrors basically at an advantage because their deck didn't function, but yours did. Immediately have a bunch of advantage out of the graveyard. Instead, it plays it in order to send some number of Paleozoics to the grave and eliminate the guesswork over the course of a long game as to whether or not you'll have enough material to make repeatable Opabinias. I love this list, and I'm so happy I get to represent a duelist who is still around today, kicking ass both on Twitch and in paper tournaments. Let me Hello. show you what we're working with. We've got three copies of Absolute King Backjack, a fantastic send target off of Fiend Griefing, three Dupe Frog, one Mathematician, two Ronin Toten, three Swap Frog, three Card of Demise, one Foolish Burial, Triple Pot of Desire. Triple that grass looks greener, compulsory evacuation device, dimensional barrier, fiend griefing, forbidden apocrypha, three lost wind, oh, one of my favorite cards of all time, two Hell mirror yeah. force. Uh, decks during this period actually didn't have a lot of game versus cards like this. Paleozoic Canadia, Paleozoic Dynamicious, two Leoncolia, three Morella, three Oleanoids, three Quaking Mirror Force. I challenge everyone to win a YCS with Mirror Force. Go ahead, do it. Three Reckless Greed, three Solemn Strike, and a Torrential Tribute in the side. We've got two Dark Hole and a Raigeki, Triple Twin Twister, Ninja Squirrel, Ninja Triple Anti one. Spell Fragrance, one Breakthrough Skill, the third. Bro, Mirror Force, Torrential, Dark Hole, Raigeki. In 2017, kind of based if I may say so myself. Third forbidden Apocrypha, Solemn kinda, Warning, and Triple Wiretap. Kind of unhinged. Extra. We've got all manner of twos, including Cat Shark, Phoenix, Downard. Crumble Logos, F Zero, Anomaly Karis, Opabinia, Double Centuria, Triple Totally Awesome, and our own Borbo and Dryden. 
This deck's power, inevitability, and core gameplay loop cannot be refuted, but unfortunately they can only really be thoroughly explained by showing them off. Here's Alex, and then we'll jump into the games. This is a monstrosity. <laughs> uh, we eventually- We don't lose a game to that. We don't lose a game to that. 10 subs, I give 10 subs if we lose a game to that deck. Enter the era of Yu-Gi-Oh now, where Ten subs everyone right now. and their mother decides to play 60 card decks courtesy of That Grass Looks Greener. It was a very strange time in Yu-Gi-Oh because this card is insanely powerful if no one else is playing 60 card decks because then you always get to basically Foolish Burial for 20 random cards, which seems pretty good. And there's a multitude of decks that can take advantage of that. The problem is... When everyone's playing 60 cards, the game changes significantly because now all of you are playing a bunch of cards that are dead in your decks that you would normally be looking to get an advantage over. Now, obviously- You trust again, MBT that much? Well, I trust him that he can't mess this up that badly. It's like the pure Zodiac decks, the Kaiju Zodiac decks. They're not gonna be playing any of these cards or they're not gonna be playing 60 cards, I should say. But there were a lot of people, especially if you look at the top cut of YCS Prague and around that time, where 60 was the new 40 and everyone was playing 60. So in fitting- For YCS Prague, top 32, every single match was a 60 card matchup. Top 32, mirror match. Top 16, mirror match. Top eight, uh, mirror match? Top 8 mirror match, top 4 Infernoid 60, finals Infernoid 60. Fashion, here we are with a 60 card Light Sworn Zombie Shadal Zodiac deck. That is probably one of the longest titles for any deck imaginable, but we're just playing everything in here. So let's do the card by card. Uh, we got Snow because, I mean, any deck that's playing 60 cards just would love to have Snow in here, and it's a three, so uh, we have to take advantage of that while we can. Manticore of Darkness is not a meme, so back Bro, during of this course time, it's a meme. when Maxi was still leaving. What do you mean, Manticore of Darkness? Why is it in your deck? I didn't even see that. Well, Holy shit. People oh figured God. out that you could use Manticore of Darkness to essentially a uh, loop to if you get max seed you can make your opponent deck out because these can just continuously summon one another not to mention it's searchable via zodiac broad bowl so it gives you this sort of like that was such a meme win condition but no that was such really a meme back then this. i mean theoretically it was possible theoretically he's right that was something people hyped up for a bit but at the end of the day no one really had success with that but in a 60 card deck, you're kind of okay with it and you're probably going to mill one of them anyway. So it kind of just sets you up. And How come people refer to it as your meta call, but didn't a lot of people came to the same conclusion of the deck? Well, the thing is, um, I think people give me credit for it because I won with it. But there's like, there were other people that played the same deck. Uh, partially, I think, because we had a relatively large testing group back then, which was complexity card gaming. Like, I, Jordan, didn't you also play the deck? Didn't you get it somehow? Like, I don't know how you got it. I don't know, but like, I, maybe you built it yourself, but I remember something about, like, you, you got it somehow. Like, there was, like, it, it just got around as, as it does sometimes, but it was like, yeah, Nadir was in complexity card gaming back then, and, uh, and then, so Jordan had the list and, and stuff like that. So, you know, it's like... I, I do believe from what I've heard is that complexity card gaming, we as a group came up with it first. Um, but I'm sure other people also, may, maybe other people also did. I don't know. In a nice way, if you do get maxed. But seed. I so won, so hilarious. I get to keep the credit. Uh, then we have some zombies Easy like clap. That's how it works. We have one Raiden. We have a uh, Shadal package consisting of Beast, Dragon, Hedgehog, and Squamata. Triple Solitaire, a uh, Double Spirit Master. And then we have our Terror Top package of three Terror Top, one Takatom Borg, two Unizombie, Triple Wolf, and then our Zoo package of Triple Rap here, a Whiptail, and of course a Garnet because we were playing. Didn't you guys get it off of Long Dao? Well, Long was on Complexity Card Gaming. Three Brilliant Fusion, which leads us into the spells. Double Charge, Triple Enemy Controller, a Foolish Barrier, Triple Instant Fusion to go for our Norden. Triple Left Arm Offering to search any spell card in our deck. Triple Pot of Desires, Triple Shadal Fusion, Soul Charge, Triple Grass, and Triple Barrage. That's a lot of cards, ladies and gentlemen. But this card, this deck rather, just has so much gas that you're going to be able to just keep playing if your opponent's able to disrupt you. And that was kind of the idea, right? I mean, any sort of like Light Sworn ish variant around this time was just trying to high roll. Well, what are we talking about? You're trying to activate Grass or Loose. Deck. Do it by extending Minerva Skip that. because Hello. four zombie and Mizusions were checking good cards in the argument to win and you're playing Holy shit. Off, being is you're gonna be deck cards being the way difference. All right, Joseph. Uh, uh really this again. Oh, I forgot about this for a second. Ah, uh, how are you gonna? How are you gonna? 
looking forward to playing these 60 card decks against one another and blanking several of the cards we have in these 60 card decks to um, basically be playing less consistent versions of them, aren't you? I'm just gonna, you know, left arm offering for what? <laughs> the upstart goblin. <laughs> upstart goblin. You have carded demise, I think. That's yeah, actually pretty wait. good. Get, oh yeah, I got a target. You you maybe yeah, not. you dump your whole hand just to draw more cards. That seems like a great idea. No, um, it's, it's it's weird criminal. because it's we want to show off grass decks, right but at the same time, no so many people were playing grass decks, especially by the time we reached like March of 2017, that you it was not unlikely you were going to encounter someone else playing 60 cards and have to ask them to know how many cards they had to know if your grass was going to be live. You're doing everything you can in order to to lose with this deck. Or not. And so well, this became yeah. a problem. <laughs> of course. Um, but uh, notably, grass isn't dead. Like, by the time you go through one of your combos, uh, especially if you're playing a deck like you are, um, the Lightsworn uh, Monstrosity, uh, you can just activate Grass for, like, 15. Like, that's fine. Sure. Like, if your opponent's that's taking fair. a turn, it's still a really good card. So, for that reason, people weren't cutting it. They were just kind of frustrated when they opened it in the mirror. Oh, no. My Grass only mills seven cards. Boo-hoo. It's so still the greatest busted. card ever printed. Yeah. <laughs> basically. Basically. Let's shout the Patreon. hey -o, Thank you for the support. All right, buddy. I rolled the die. You got a How is mill seven yeah. the best card ever printed? All right. No I rolled way. a three. The number of Grass I won't be resolving. <laughs> I put up 60. <laughs> for the number of cards in our deck. Fantastic. <laughs> that is an even number. I had to count for a second. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Make Pretty good happen. for you. You get to go first. I also love on Dueling Book that you can see it's 60 cards. Like, it looks oh! like a thicker deck. This hand's all right. All right, we're going to go one, two, three. Card of Demise. Oh, oh perfect. Hell yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Set two more. Ditch a Paleo. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. Or Grass. Well, Dinomicious oh. doesn't do a lot here. So Hell uh, yeah. Ahead. I mean, it's a monster, right? Uh, main one, I guess we try GG. to do some GG. crazy shit. Why, don't, Let's you, why go... don't you do that? Why don't you try to do anything? Olinoids. I'm going to try Easy, to we do have some Olinoids. brilliant fusion. Oh, shit. Uh, absolutely not. Uh, Hell so yeah. Easy clap. I'm assuming you want to chain. No, I actually can wait. I'm, I'm good. Okay. But you don't. <laughs> All right. Well, that sucks. I was really hoping to resolve that. Uh... Let's welcome number two, Shiranui Solitaire for the normal summon. Yeah, nothing here. Okay, bring this off. Let's go for Unizombie. Let's try for Unizombie effect. Which effect would you like to use? Uh, I would like the one that doesn't discard a card out of my hand. You know what, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna expedite this process. Uh, on summon, let's just Canadia. Okay, so we're not even gonna get there. Anything to chain? I will Anything attempt to chain, chain Dinomicious. Okay, sure, that's fine. All right, what's behind door number three? Instant fusion. Oh my god, you really are just going off. Yep. Let's go for what do we have in here? We have Norden in here. Of course we do. All right, I don't, don't worry too. about this. <laughs> <laughs> da, 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 da. Why should we should have da, one da, more pillow? <laughs> you got some to chain. You got some to chain to lost. I might with. actually, I might actually have a chainable to lost with. Yeah, Hold on do a it, second. Do it. You won't. Uh, thinking about it. You're gonna maxi to stop me? Probably not the answer. So that's fine. You can get your Canadian. <laughs> yeah, your Canadian. that's what I thought. All right. This card's a little bit better. Oh wow, that's a decent one. What well, now what? Getting what the hell is that? <laughs> Buddy, what, what's going on here? Am I good to resolve this? Yeah, you're fine. I got to be honest. I don't know what I'm even grabbing off of this. What is your desire, dude? What is Manticore of Darkness doing in there? Don't worry about Manticore of Darkness. I'm worried. Joseph. But worry. I'm worried. Don't worry about Manticore of Darkness. Okay. Um, Any spell card I desire. I just can't set. Don't worry. My deck doesn't do that anyway. You still got two back row, correct? Or you go yes. charge. Yeah. What have they gotten rid of? Lost you've normal wind, already. Charge is dumb. Probably, I mean, desi what do you draw off desires, dude? I literally, awesome. I don't know what you're going to get. Desires? I'm already all in at this point. Is it I have normal spell? Okay, I'm gonna, I don't remember. Oh, man, that's so tempting. I just feel like that could backfire in so many different ways. Barrage. Yeah, okay. Uh, you can. Yes. Barrage, the Norden. Uh, okay, so the activation of Barrage is fine, but now I'm going to think. Uh, we are going to go Fiend Griefing targeting Shirnui Solitaire. Uh, and you know what? Fuck it. Let's get our little friend out as well. Uh, let's send... Biggity, biggity, backjack to the graveyard. Uh, backjack effect. Oh, this uh, brings me back, dude. Do it face down. Uh, okay, I know the order. I am putting them back. <coughs> uh, we will go one, two, three. 
On resolution, yeah, you'd like nothing. to do anything? Try it. Yes. Nothing. Take out Norton. I don't have to take out Norton, but... Yeah, Why did we pop Norton? You take out Barrage. I could just take out Barrage and have another thing. That's what I was kind of thinking. Okay, I have to see what zoos we're playing. We are playing several of them, it looks like. How are oh, we... No oh my god, how did we think about which uh, no zoo to summon? Here. Hello? What do you got? Yeah, you normaled it. Uh, let's go back check. Ooh. And then here's what I got. Barrier. Ooh. In 60 <laughs> cards, he found the fucking barrier. Uh, nice pick. All right. Well, we're basically just dead at this point, so I don't even know if I keep playing. Uh, I just wanted to just see how far I can no, go. No, 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 no. Do the next turn. The no, the next turn is will, nice. Uh, cry. Go ahead. All right. Uh, <laughs> Do you put a spell on top with backjack? Yep, Please. Uh, Please. It's oh, yes. Time. See, this would be great if you were playing a 40 card deck because I could have left arm for grass and just milled 20. But uh, uh, that's what happens when you play the mirror. We are going to grab, what's the set card? Unizombie? Yes. Ugh, we actually do have to kill Unizombie, don't we? Yeah, we'll grab Oli Nades here. Oli Nades, target, barrage, uh, yep. uh, seal two, dynamicious. Let's overlay these two. Do we even do that? Well, you attack Lean first. Colia, target backjack. Oh, um, my God. Sure. And it's pretty good. Uh, so this returns to the grave and therefore doesn't trigger backjack, uh, which is unfortunate. Um, oh, we could go anomaly Karis here. No, I mean, we're just going toad. Uh, then let's go combat. Yep. Wop, wop. Take 12. This was way less damage than it could have been, mm, but it's fine. Back to you, I believe. Yeah, we were just so dead here. Uh, I think I even uh, have that, frogs that, that, in that. here as well. Give me a sec. Yeah, we'll get two frogs. Playing 60. Go ahead. Uh, okay. Um, stand by main. Ooh. Oh my god. Yep. Uh, let's. I guess let's toad again. We'll grab the other. Why dude. are we still? We'll grab swap frog. Dueling. Swap frog effect. Oh my god! It doesn't even negate effects. It's been so long. You also have to detach that Canadia if you're doing that. I am going to detach the Canadia. Let's go overlay for anomaly carrots. And this should be the end of the game, I imagine. Can this card? Only get face. Do you imagine? <laughs> Do like you Dragons can you imagine that? Card. Jesus Christ! Really? Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll Anomaly Karis is crazy. <laughs> Let's grab this. It's Squamata. Uh, I guess I can use Squamata, but it doesn't really do anything if I'm dead here. <laughs> yeah, go for it. Um, uh, I'll send. Yeah, I'm just I'm dead here no matter what. I'll send Beast and draw a card. Why sure. not? Uh, unfortunately, can I kill you? We go one, two. Ooh, I don't think so. Uh, let's just go combat. I'm shocked that you cannot kill me. You basically have the game on lock anyway. Yeah, but. we'll go. Uh, I mean, <laughs> okay. This was game in like a billion ways. This was probably like 15,000 damage if you wanted okay. to. Okay, uh, rep here effect. Uh, sure, that's fine, yeah. I don't think this deck is playing combo. Okay, I will not be activating rep here effect, I lied. I see, all right, well, add resolution, will Canada. Oh, Canada, we'll activate uh, it. Then you have Toad from my Chanel fusion, so I'm dead. All right, I almost toted the rep here. That was disgusting. That that's what I was hoping you would do. You know, I just wanted to put the pedal to the metal and just see how far we could actually get. And it seemed like you had a surgically precise answer for every single card that I played. That did not go well in this life. Sometimes, I feel like that hand was nuts. Yeah, sometimes like you open five failures and you go, wow, what a good deck. Yeah, some, Ooh, sometimes you open this too, Terror Top. So yeah, go ahead. Uh, what, no Maxi in your 60 card deck? I'm no, shocked. No one of Maxi. It's at two, sir. It's at two. <laughs> Attack Tom Board. Yeah. All right. I'm assuming we're only playing one rank three and my suspicions would be correct. Uh, it is Invoker. It's a good hand. Right. Go Invoker effect. Yep. Let's get ourselves the rats. Yep. Uh, the question is, how far do I want to go with this? There's a lot we can do. You're drastically improving the quality of my grass looks greener. <laughs> I am. That's the whole idea. I actually feel like I need to be concerned with zones at this point. Jesus Christ. All right. I'm going to go solitaire effect. That's my normal summon. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Get Unizombie somewhere. Uh, Unizombie effect. Also fine. Dump Mizuki. Yep. Uh, Maxi we'll was Mizuki, semi limited. Yeah. Make Omega. I think. Yes. Uh, Maybe it was that one. I don't remember. We'll go Omega. Let's rip a card. They said it was semi limited. Get this one. Dog! I needed that one. Uh, we'll go Borbo, Broad Bowl. Uh, effect to special. Yeah. Effect to search. Yes. Whip tail. I am making your I'm making your grass pretty good. <laughs> uh, tiger swap rat rat effect. Yep. yep. Overlay these two. Um, there is something quite fun that I could do, and I'm tempted. I don't know if it seems very good on an open board. Ah, eh, fuck it. We're playing the deck. Oh, the arrow. thing yes. is, the hand uh, looks we'll cracked, but it still doesn't three do anything. Three Come on. Three good, that was that three was, good that was, ones. That was, that was terrible. That was awful. It doesn't right, do right, anything. Uh, like, you still... Like, it, what have you done? I, Nothing. I, God, I could keep going, which is fucking crazy. There's no point to, though. Yeah, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be. No, we beat that. Can I have the pot of desires back, please? Stand by me. Dark hole. Wow. Yep, that's a good one. Can't do anything about that, sir. Oh man. Full turn. 
He's setting. All right, stand by. We get our cards back. Wow. Get them back. Thank you. Main one. Yeah. Uh, let's start that with. Was, I told you we're not losing to this deck. Oh my god, you were hiding that. I told you I could have kept going. Yeah, let's go. Get the garden out of here. Oh, third card from the top. Good thing I said that. Let's also get rid of. Uh, I think Snow's probably a good pick at this point. Yeah, it seems insane. Uh, no, I have yeah, 18 cards like in the graveyard. Uh, we'll Let me Seraphite think about getting Snow. Maybe I should get Snow. I'm gonna go normal Solitaire as my extra. Oh, uh, yeah. Solitaire effect. Sure. Should have another one still. I do. Uh, let's go Unizombie first effect target itself. Sure. And I'll get rid of this Shadal Dragon. Uh, that'll trigger Shadal Dragon because that was effect. That was not cost. Let's try to just start sniping here. Okay, um, Compulse targeting Seraphonite here. That's fine. We have Unizombie's second effect target itself. Get rid of another Mizuki. Oh, let's just go Omega effect again. Can you please not do that? I'm going to be a huge hater here. I, I got to get this thing out of my hand. I'm sorry. Okay, sure. Going to happen eventually. Now, the problem is... Probably can't clear this because it's probably like fucking Toad or some shit or uh, Ronin or whatever. Yeah, it's it's Mr. Ronin. Let's, let's try it. Seven here. No, correct. Yep, I'll take seven. Second main. Can't clear him, sadly enough. I think, sadly, I just have to pass. Can't really do much. <laughs> Stand by me. Oh, Jesus. We're all Get me out of this game, God damn it. Right. Oh, uh, it's too okay? easy. No ash yet. Oh, thank God. Oh, oh thank God. Uh, demise. That's insane. It's yep. too easy. Wow. Desires into Demise. Unbelievable. Not bad. All right, I'm going to make a play that looks extremely stupid. Am I going to make it? It's very stupid. Normal backjack. Sure. Darkle. Just so you can use the backjack. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, backjack. Yep. That cannot so, be correct, one, dude. You just two, set the dark hole and discard the backjack okay. in the end phase. Uh, what the hell did draw. you do? Charge. Right, we're going to backjack here. Canadia. Charge is fine. Deal, mill three. Thank you, Saka! Whoa! Buddy. Fortunately, I didn't draw the card. <laughs> I can't oh my that. god. All right. Right in. Right in's fine. No, Lila in this deck? I guess that makes sense. Why would you play Lila? Lila sucks. <laughs> Terrible card. Does, uh, does right in effect. Yes. Oh, okay. Mizuki's big. All Mizuki's right. big. We're chilling. It's it's big, but good enough. <laughs> uh, Mizuki target Mizuki. Yes. Put him in attack. Uh, let's go battle. 17. 17. Yeah. We gotta we gotta try to make things happen. I guess. Go ahead. Uh, okay. Um, end phase. We're gonna go Leoncolia target backjack. Oh yes. No, that's I'm being greedy. Uh, we're gonna target one of our banished face down cards. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go Oleanades target Brilliant Fusion. Sure. And we'll grab our guy. And we'll go Canadia target Raiden. He's down. Grab Olinates. Anything stand by main? Got two face down still. No, you're good. Uh, we will go Opabinia. Don't we have snow? Uh, Opabinia effect. We will grab. Hmm. We had we snow, have, right? We could have prevented player. at least one of those Paleos Serve from coming Dynamitious, out. Target Mizuki. Uh, that's fine. Uh, we'll grab Canadia. We'll pitch Dynamitious. Uh, Leoncolia target backjack. Uh, I will snow in response here. No response. Uh, we don't need like any of these cards. Two, three, four, five, six, and that is all my spells. So we'll get rid of. Oh no, there's my last spell. There we go. All right. <laughs> it's all my spells. Also Spot of desire is not a spell. Had to try. That's fine. Oh yep. my god. Uh, we'll go toad here. Yep. Uh, combat. Sure. We'll eat the right. This game's over. Fine. This game's over. Back to you, Bugaboo. Draw. Oh, right on, right on fucking time. That's fine. Snow here. Yep. Or uh, toad here, rather. Right on time. That, that is. That could not have been a better draw in my deck. Let me tell you, Joseph. <laughs> this is uh stellar. Cool deck. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're going to try for backjack here. Yep. Humble lion to backjack. Oh, yes. I will take that. I mean, it's like, it was like, Pelican what, 80%? Uh, yeah, 70%? Percent. I'm like, wow. Uh, we'll go, my boy. Uh, swap. Swap. Main phase. Oh, good. Uh, swap. Uh, we will make toad. The second coming. Yep. Uh, let's go swap to hand. Yep. Normal swap. Use Opabinia. We'll just swap. Let's just freaking swap, Lois. Uh, let's send the other Ronin Toten. Just don't want to draw him. Opabinia. Uh, we will grab Dynomicious. Yep. Uh, Dynomicious targets snow. She's out of here. CL2 will grab Dynomicious. Anything here? 44, make your third toad? 54. How much is this? 67. It's not enough. Uh, cat shark? Mm, I have Digusto Phoenix. I think that's enough. That's 44. 40, yeah. 74. Yeah, yep. That's just yeah. enough. Yep. Bada bing. Let's try it. Blah. You got it, buddy. Right on time with that Twin Twister. <laughs> and, uh, Yikes. It's great. Yikes. And I had these zoo cards. And this, this deck is not actually playing that dense of a zoo engine. So these yeah. did literally nothing for me uh, past that. That dark hole hurt. There was like, yeah. I thought I had a lot of recovery, but it wasn't as good as I thought. As a Easy clap. I told you we don't lose the game for that deck. Oh, wait. There's game three. Why is it game three? It's 2 0. Oh. This deck is sideboarding. We always play three games. Omega, I've never seen an episode of this. And I actually boarded it in. But yeah. I'm like, nah, I don't need two copies of Omega. Clearly, I did. Uh, best of luck, buddy. Stand by main. Let's try for this. Oh, Lord. All right, go ahead. Uh, I, don't, I don't think it's. We'll see. I don't, I don't think it's going to be that crazy like it was before. Uh, we'll get we always play three. And okay. thinking on our light target here, depending on the way the rest of our hand looks, I might actually just go for a copy of Wolf this time. Oh, okay. Just for the body. Uh, so we'll get Seraphonite somewhere. Uh, wolf effect. We'll get the wolf out. Mm -hmm. uh, and the reason for that is because I have the snow in hand. Ah, well, so. okay. 
Well, extra normal there. Uh, let's just go for... Gamba. Get it twisted. And Minerva. It didn't work for me last time. That means you're due. That means I'm due. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> yeah. It's not, it's, it's not correct to do this. Yeah, let's do sure, it anyway. yeah. All right. Come on. Draw three. Draw three. Fuck. Bangers <laughs> so, again. So bad. It's so bad. Yeah, that was not the right move in the slightest. Oh, well. So, uh, other normal summon. Go ahead. That's our turn. <laughs> Stand by main. All yeah, right. You got the dark hole again. I got something better. Behold, main phase needle bug nest. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's just, not even that good. You only no, get to go four. It's awful. But if I get a paleo, it's actually all worth it. <laughs> you got two <laughs> and back to one? That's crazy. That's like the four best it could have possibly been. We're going to fucking try back check now. Is that your turn only? Yeah. yeah okay, no. Damn. Okay. Uh, if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can look at the top three cards of your deck. Okay, I'm going to do that. That is, that is how that card works, yes. Okay. Uh, ooh, that's very interesting. Very interesting cards that we have here. I will pot of desires and they will all go to hell. Perfect. Da, da, da. All right. Okay, that wasn't too bad. <laughs> this is fine. Just go one, uh, two, three, you know, uh, four, uh, five, uh, go ahead. Well, Demise isn't even that good if you hold that back. Yeah, okay. okay. Uh, I'll draw. Stand by. Okay, we're going to try back jack. Sure. Oh! <laughs> okay. Not okay. bad. Good to proceed to main. Oh, yeah. Oh, for sure. Try for Minerva. Uh, there's just no way. Uh, we'll Lost Wind. Sure. That's fine. You know what? I'm feeling I'm feeling so good about myself. We'll start getting friends, too. Okay. All right. Sure. <laughs> so bad. Flip Squamata. Oh, pop. pop what? <laughs> oh, the set guard? The set. If you insist, I guess you can. <laughs> Ooh, let's go get our ninja swap <laughs> To be fair, there's Minerva no wouldn't have cleared it anyway. <laughs> that is true. Yeah, you gotta beat it. <laughs> that's awful. Well, now I know you have Forbidden Apocrypha, so I just like don't want to play no, keep it. Because that just keep seems playing. terrible. Minerva has to be destroyed and Forbidden Apocrypha <laughs> sends, which uh, sucks. I can't wait to get like Mirror Force for my entire life. That's gonna be great. Uh, we'll run out Mizuki. Why not? Yeah. Let's just bring all the guys out here. All right, all right. Time to mirror force you for your entire life. Uh, bada bing. Woo! <laughs> all right. We're all, all right. You God. simply will not hit anything off Minerva. I mean, I have it so far. All right. And the yep. trend continues. <laughs> what a great fucking continues. deck. What a great <laughs> fucking deck. This is actually amazing. Look at the deck this is. God. I can't even snow to chain block because then the snow dies to the mirror force. That is so Summon bad. it in defense. Uh, I can summon it now, so I'll try it. Sure. Not like I need any of these idiots. Uh, Being three, grieving. four, five, One time. six. I'm, I don't think I need the wolf, whatever. Uh, I'll keep trying. All right, why don't you keep trying to get better? You Woo! Feel <laughs> yeah, apparently it's just a skill issue. Right, this deck sucks. This deck's so bad. All right, no. stand by main. And yep. the legend continues. Uh, we don't have uh, no Ronin Toten yet, so let's fix that. Uh, sure. Oh my Rose. god, the swamp uh, frog. Ronin Toten uh, and Canadia for. Opa Binia. Opa, Binia. <laughs> Opa. Opa Binia, detach Ronin Toten, grab Oleonades. Sorry, I mean, yeah, no, that is what I mean. Oh uh, my it, god. CL2, Dynamicious, Ronin Toten. Uh, two toads. It's a winnable game. It's, it's a, a winnable, winnable game. game. It's a winnable game for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, Keep okay. going. Uh, and sorry, I did target the brilliant fusion there. This kills this one, right? It's only zero defense, so yes, I'd hope so. Oh yeah, because <laughs> the brilliant fusion. Yeah. So this is all yeah. direct attack. So wow. forty-four. Yep. Go ahead. Good luck. Whoa! Don't proceed too quickly through standby there. All right, that shit is not resolving. That is also not resolving. Uh, you can resolve both. <laughs> <laughs> what a good game. My favorite part wow. of this game is that it was good. <laughs> this deck is fucking terrible. The problem with your deck is that oh, it's just too they play good. More? It's too okay. good. It's just okay. too good. So yeah. we, I mean, oh, we no, can talk like about these two. These decks are so fucking interesting. Your your deck is insane. Like I don't know how this deck like was losing to anything. Yeah, so, it didn't. Uh, wild. Quick Gavin shout out. Um, a progression playoffs member Gavin uh, took this to a Philly regional and I think tied for first with it. And boy oh boy, uh, I mean he's no Joshua Schmidt, but this deck was just so strong. It's actually fascinating that people weren't considering it ever uh, because it is just so absurdly good on face. Uh, it, oh, I can talk about this deck all day. Okay, uh, but I'll just give you the highlights. Grassworks Greeter in this deck doesn't do anything ridiculously unfair. People assume that the Grassworks Greeter is only good in combo strategies like yours or in Infernoid, where it can get like plus nine, right? Obviously, yeah. it's strong in those scenarios. It's also strong in a scenario where it just puts we'll a bunch of in the graveyard and gives you a type of inevitability. The control decks before this period were just sort of lacking. Absolute King Backjack is one of the greatest cards ever printed. In a deck that's playing a uh, like 80% uh, trap card uh, suite, uh, it is always live. Um, it's a wonderful discard for stuff like Oleonades. It's a great target for Fiend Griefing. Oleonades doesn't discard. Cards during this period, not only can you interrupt opponents who are doing grass stuff, which is almost everyone by this point, you can also interrupt. Zodiac combos because it like screws up their Tiger Mortar attach. Lost Wind is just a shockingly phenomenal card. Can't believe yep. it took people more than one second to figure this one out. Uh, everything in this format is special summoned, negates the effects forever, pluses you if your opponent goes back into the extra deck, which of course they are multiple times every turn if you're playing against uh, Zodiac. And because Zodiac is the best deck in the format by a country mile, and the second best deck is probably this Paleozoic Brew, Dimensional Barrier just gets to call Xyz and win the game on the spot every single time it resolves. Um, you don't have to fuck around with any of the like artifact san sanctum nonsense that's in a lot of okay. uh, less good decks during this period. Uh, D Barrier doesn't auto win the game most of the time it's really good in this deck though particularly because all this deck needs pretty much like this deck is was all about people people would look at this deck and be like it has 40 something traps or whatever it's like oh surely it's a slow deck right but this deck is actually Basically, almost always, if it gets to seed turn two, 
if you know what you're doing with this deck, you're pretty much never losing the game ever again. Even though you don't win on turn two, you don't kill them on turn two most of the time or whatever. But it's just like, if you can get there set up with like some amount of paleos in the graveyard and your opponent doesn't like snowball their field completely out of control on turn one, you basically win the game. And D-Barrier does exactly that. I would argue that D-Barrier isn't even that insane in this format, generally. It's really good, that's why people play it. But in, in like Zodiac Mirror matches, for example, D-Barrier wasn't that crazy. It was like, you skip a turn, but Zodiac didn't do that much each turn. It was just like, okay, your opponent got to do like the whole Broad Bull searching and a little bit of damage on the turn that you were under D-Barrier. But it was just like... In the in the zoo mirror match, very often it was also just like you, the, everyone was playing like solemn strike and D barrier and whatnot. And like since Zodiac only really had like one or two lines with with like normal summon and barrage, solemn strike was almost just almost the same as D barrier. Like solemn strike was almost the same as D barrier. Um, the the one thing that made D barrier better was it was a lot better going second because most people pure Zodiac at the time would end on Dryden Emerald. That was their end board. The end board of pure Zodiac was usually just Digusto Emerald and a Dryden with a lot of backup resources in hand. That's how it worked. And some back row. So uh, D-Barrier was really good because one thing that... Re the, the worst part about... The worst part about um, about the Emerald Dryden board was not the Dryden because you didn't care about the Dryden at all. The worst part was the Emerald keep that kept drawing them more cards you didn't want that so like d barrier on the emerald was really nice because it stopped the emerald but it also stopped any further extension later but for the most part this deck was about like if you go second you you need a turn to set up your paleos and the d barrier allowed you to do that um and then the mirror forces were kind of the same thing because like literally if you have a mirror force in this format Zodiac can't do shit about Mirror Force. So whatever they do, it doesn't matter. Like, you can let them play. They can, like, Zodiac can play for a long time. It has a lot of steps in their combos. But whatever they do, it doesn't play around Mirror Force. So they can't really do anything to further. Like, you basically, as long as you, as soon as you have Emerald Dryden on your board as Zodiac in this format, you can't really advance your board state any further realistically like you can get another broad bull search another emerald draw another uh you can even maybe if you want to, you can summon a second dryden or something but you can't do anything that gets you closer to actually winning the game uh why was this not played for nationals draco this deck paleo in particular pretty much got completely destroyed when uh when masterpiece came out like, if, uh, if, if they didn't make specifically Masterpiece, I'm pretty sure Paleo would have been able to dominate multiple formats after YCS Prague. But it was specifically... Well, it's not just Masterpiece, actually. It was also the fact that, like, True Draco now had... True Draco was a deck that had great amounts of back row removal with the, with the spell cards all popping back row. The trap cards... Of, of of true draco could actually pop the zodiac uh, the the paleo traps which like zodiac monster like zodiac dryden can't pop the paleos but like the the true draco traps can so true draco was inherently a good deck against paleo because like the small draco's chain block uh the the traps can get rid of your monsters the spells can get rid of your back row and the um the, the and and some of your cards are just completely terrible against Draco. Like Lost Wind is pretty pretty much completely dead. Uh, Fiend Griefing isn't that good against it. Um, Mirror Forces would just get sniped. Like the whole deck concept was perfect for this format, and True Draco entering the equation just completely ruined it. It was kind of sad because it it kind of like True Draco is almost like they they tried to design a counter for this deck is is kind of how it feels. I I know it's probably not that that's probably not what happened because I don't think they knew about this deck when by the time they made Dracos, but like it 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 really felt like they just made a counter a counter to this deck by by Draco by moving with, with True Draco. It was a completely awful matchup, like genuinely just awful. Like at the same time, we got Kai we had Kaijus to out Masterpiece theoretically. Like you would play Kaijus, but you can still you would still very easily lose to the rest of, of the of the deck. 
I didn't play at this area era, but after seeing this, why is Zoo is meta if the end board loses to Dark Hole, seeing like how your deck Paleo goes off, why people still think Zoo is the best deck? Well, the thing is, Zodiac was the best deck compared to anything else in the format that wasn't designed to beat it, right? Like this Paleozoic deck was something that people didn't really know about. So if you didn't know about this deck, Zodiac was the next best option. Zodiac was a great deck because like other decks simply didn't have a way to keep up with it. Like, I mean, at the time, like from, from today's perspective, ending on something like Emerald Dryadent plus five or six cards in hand doesn't seem that powerful. But back in the day, that was really good. Like the fact that you could do, you could invest one card into a, um, like you would have, you would, you had, you open five cards and then you normal summon a rat peer and you end with uh, an emerald, a dryden and six cards in hand, or you set some back row and then you have less, but you have like out of one card in your opening five, you go to a total of eight cards, right? And that was at the time pretty much unheard of, like the one card starter concept of like, you just need that one card and you can do that. You can do all that. You can play a lot of a lot of utility cards. You can you can maintain card advantage. You can like do all these things. It was it was just it was a good deck, and a lot of decks struggled with it because it was really hard. It was really hard to to play into the board for any normal Yu-Gi-Oh deck that tried to rely on like monsters and stuff like that. Right. The only reason why this deck didn't care about Zodiac was because it didn't try to put any face up cards onto the field. Like there was you didn't try to put any face up card into the field. You weren't weak to most of the hand traps in the format. Like people played Maxi, you don't really care about it. People played uh Ghost Ogre, you don't care about it. People played Effect Veiler, you don't really care about it. So like a, Zo a Zodiac board backed up with hand traps or back row, no normal deck could beat that. No normal deck was able to consistently beat Zodiac. Um, so there's that. I believe Josh never played Zoo at the time. I played Zoo at German Nationals once. That was, I think, that was the only big tournament I remember playing Zodiac. Um, it was, I think, that was Fusion Sub Zoo, which was basically the full power uh, Zodiac uh, format. But honestly, at the time. I didn't even feel like it was actually the best choice. Like it was, it was one of those times I, I have plenty of tournaments in my life that I've played and I didn't feel like I played the best deck looking back. Um, and that, that tournament was one of those, it was nationals. It was probably later than this. It was probably later than this. It must've been. Yeah. It must've been later than this. Uh, so I think we already had true Draco. And that's why I didn't play, that's why I didn't play Paleo. And I played Zodiac, but I played the standard Fusion Sub Zodiac. And I don't think it was, I don't think it was the best deck, but I just didn't have the time. I had some ideas back in the day to, to try and make the deck more trap heavy because traps at the time, because of Zodiac being a thing, traps were really good. And I was toying around with like trap heavy Zodiac variations. Um... But I didn't, I didn't, I never got a chance to, to bring it to a big tournament. What did you play at Euros? Oh no, Euros, I also played Zodiac. Euros, I also played Zodiac. Yeah, at Euros, I went X1 day one, like eight and one. And then I lost two rounds on day two. And back then you couldn't top with that record. I went X3 in Swiss. But yeah. Did you ever play True Draco? I've played True Draco at um, YCS Rimini and at Worlds in 2017 or 18. I think 17. Yeah, 2017, I got, I got third place at YCS Rimini with True Draco. We don't talk about Worlds, yeah. <laughs> we don't talk about Worlds. <laughs> I didn't do well at Worlds that year with Draco. I went two and three, I think. All right, that was nice. I liked, I liked the, I liked the little throwback to that, to that format. One of my favorite formats of all time.